room tour video. Nobody asked for this. I don't think anyone ever will ask for this. But you're getting it. Why? Because I kind of want to show my stuff off. There's literally no reason. Just moved into a new dig, new student housing. Pretty nice stuff, nice bigger space than my last space. Which means I can put more stuff in it. And I have more stuff since last time. So if you watched my old face cam videos and you saw stuff in the background, there's more of it now. And that's about all there is really to this video. So if you're not interested in seeing my posters, my figures, my swords and whatnot, then get lost. Though, no one's going to click on this video to start with. So we might as well just get down to it. And sorry for the shaky cam. My tripod thing is broken and it's held together with tape and blue tack so it's not the best of cams and my camera quality isn't good anyway so just use your imagination and if you want to buy any of the stuff in this video i'll try put the links in the description below if i can find where i got them from if not then what are you gonna do but you know most of the stuff i got cons and stuff so i don't think you can get it online but i will have a look after i've filmed and edited this video so we've been rambling for about a minute so like subscribe comment blah 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 and let's get on with the room tour So this is the computer setup. This is my microphone, it's nothing too complicated, nice keyboard, monitor, lamp thing, and my Phantom Troop wallpaper because I love them. And because I love the Phantom Troop so much, I have my Phantom Troop poster, which has all the members except the ones we never see and the current 11th member, who I won't say for spoilers. My other 100x100 poster is my kite poster, which is beautiful. And I love it because I love kite. And there is another kite thing in this room, so you'll see that shortly. But yeah, it's a pretty solid poster, and I quite enjoy it. My next poster is my My Hero Academia poster of uh, Fu Makage Togiyami and Dark Shadow. It's a pretty nice poster. It's the only My Hero Academia thing I've got in here. And the one issue with this poster, it's got a bit damaged. You can see this top with some tape lines, and it's torn a bit in this corner. It's the only poster that's kind of suffered damage during travel, but that's just how it is. My next poster is my Vegeta poster with pride, because Vegeta is the most prideful son of a bitch in all of anime, except for maybe Escanor, the strongest man alive. And this poster is beautiful, especially with the amazing armor that I have cosplayed as, which there's a video in the top if you want to see. Uh, here are the wanted posters for the Seven Deadly Sins. It's a pretty cool poster, I think it looks pretty good. I know like most of them don't look anything like the characters, but that's just how the posters are. Next is my Pride and Joy, my figures. And we got quite a selection down here. We got some other stuff and then some hats at the bottom. So starting from right to left, we have my only one piece figure being my Mihawk, which I picked up recently at a con. It's a pretty nice figure. It's got Yoru, which is really nice. And is something I do plan to build Yoru at some point because I do plan doing a Mihawk cosplay. At the same con, I got this Abakio figure from a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 5. And this here is my Goku figure, uh, Super Saiyan 3, because it's the best form, I think you'll find. And the most expensive, I think, yeah, the most expensive thing I have in this setup, because but like the PC is my Shenron, it was 100 quid of Amazon, first figure I actually got, and it's a nice centerpiece. As you can see, the whiskers are gone, because I lost one of them, and it looks terrible with just one, so sadly, Shenron's missing his whiskers, which is sad, but, you know, it's good. Next is my Krillin and 18 figures. These are pretty poor in the fact that they fall apart a lot and 18's leg lights coming off i've got lots of different poses that i sometimes do but that's the current one this is my other android 18 figure which i got at a con and android 18 is my second favorite character in dragon ball so that's why she gets two figures although my favorite character in dragon ball we will start to go over to now which is piccolo and this figure i recently got about a month ago at a con and it is brilliant because that's the turban and the cape which most of them don't and he's doing the special beam cannon so brilliant uh yeah, so that's nearly all my Dragon Ball figures, but I do plan on getting a Cell and a Vegeta at some point. Next, we have my Zoro Swords. So we have Yubashiri, Kotetsu, and Wano. Wado, yeah, Wado. I'm missing Sushri, but I do plan on getting it at some point. These were quite good. I got them all for 70 quid, so pretty cheap. They're not the best quality swords, but I adore them. They're also wooden rather than metal, just so they're con ready if I ever want to do a Zoro cosplay, which I may do as my friend, who I met at a con, Vince, did a Zoro cosplay when I did Luffy, and it was quite cool. Uh, here are my Millennium items. I got these at the same con. I got a lot of my stuff very recently. So it's called Millennium items and they come out. And it's a pretty cool find. And my Death Note. This is Light's original Death Note. So it's got all the first kills written into it as well. And the only non-anime thing on this video is my Quidditch set with a Quaffle, Bludgers, Snitch and my Hunter's License. Because I have nowhere else to put it. 
and I don't want to keep my wallet where it can't be seen. Moving on to my hats, we have my Luffy hat and the wig underneath for my Luffy cosplay. And this is my kite hat and underneath is the wig for that as well, which I won't get out because it is very long and white and annoying to put away. But yeah, those are my hats and wigs. So that is the bulk of my stuff. I do have other stuff like Eskinor's Axe and Kite Scythe, but they are not in this location because they are cumbersome and I don't want them damaged. So for my new setup, I'm pretty happy with it and I think it looks pretty good. So yeah, if you want to buy any of this stuff, I'll have the links if I can find them down below. And behind the camera, the room is very messy, but you mostly see the nice clean stuff here. So yeah, room tour, nothing particularly interesting. It's just I wanted to show it. And also it's an upload where I don't have to write a script or anything. Even though in all fairness, I'm not uni yeah, I'm just working, so I really have no excuse not to be pumping the videos out. But I'm lazy and that's just how it is. So this has been the room tour with all my figures, models, hats, swords, posters, stuff like that. And I hope you enjoyed it, or at least got jealous of my lovely figures. Not that there's many, but I do plan on getting a lot more in the future when I actually have funding. So with all that said and done. I have been Seth the Sin, the Deadly Sin of Geek, and I am signing out. Oh, also follow my Twitter, because whenever I'm at cons, I'll post what I get on there, and I also give cool review mini ones that aren't in videos. Sorry, quick plug there. Don't know how long this video was, but goodbye. Again, Seth the Sin, Deadly Sin of Geek, signing out.